Now, after a few days of snow and rain, finally sun. The temperature is okay, but that's not the point of this video. The point is this. You see these logs here? I use those logs to make tea light holders. But now I'm thinking I might do a box for the dice. Hello, pigeon. Bye-bye, pigeon. Yeah, anyways, my... my point was that I can actually cut them in uh, in a few pieces, uh, make a box with the candles. Let me just get inside and show you what I meant when I said tea light holders. Uh, some light please. Light? Yes. Yes. Light. All right. A little bit of aperture setting as well. Oh, my hands are trembling. These are the tea light holders that I was talking about. It was a fun little project of mine from a few years ago and I'm still making them from time to time because I simply like the natural shape of the wood shaped into something else. I'm guessing my next project will be dice box with the candles. All right guys, I have reached my family's countryside house. And I got my tools right here, hand saw, a drill and drill bits inside, these uh, sponge sandpapers, and another drill bit that I will use for uh, making the dice holes. And also, I've got this guy right here, that's gonna become a dice box. So without further ado, let's just begin. Those are making fun of me, I think. It's a hot day today. Oh well, there goes the bark, I just might glue it back on, because I really liked it. So, let's carry on with the base. I started working out some while ago, because I got sick, flu or something, but still, <laughs> this is really tiresome, <laughs> let's carry on. Let's see what we have to work with. Well, the idea is this, to place this screw here and make like a turning top like this so once it turns it reveals like seven holes for the dice i'm just thinking yeah it's it's deep enough i think should i just place it here and let it slide like this so it reveals one two three four one two three holes let's try it out and see how it goes i just might take off this bark because i think it's much more trouble than it's worth. Some pieces do look nice still. I will leave those pieces. The rest of them that are not willing to cooperate, I'm just gonna remove them and it's gonna need some sanding, but it's gonna turn out nice. So let's start with the drilling. I have this old drill bit here that got 
rusty because it hasn't been used for a while but I think it will still make the cut so let's give it a try and there you go Let's cut another piece of wood. So, a slight change of plans. I cut this piece and I have this piece. I just might do the opposite of what I thought to do at first. Let's see if this bark, yeah, it goes off. It will reveal something like this. This was still going to be the bottom piece. <laughs> Let's see what the drill says now. I think that the old drill bit is actually not doing a very good job. Good thing I bought a new one. Take three, I guess. Goodness, this one is ripping it apart. So I kind of messed it up, I think. I think that with some sanding and some filing, it's gonna be fine. So Let's see how it goes together. I still need to figure out a way to place that screw right here. But I think I'll manage it somehow. Let's see. So I got this little drill bit to drill a hole right here and try to put the screw in there. Good luck. For a moment there I thought that I went through. I think I'm gonna need pliers or something. I didn't bring mine and there is nothing smaller in the tool shed. Tool shed? Tool shed. <laughs> but I'll try it with these ones. Oh come on. Do I really need a bigger hole for this? need a bigger hole but I don't have a drill bit for wood here so how about this oh it seems that it's working I hope that I'm not gonna damage this too much because if I do it just might give me trouble but I'm not so sure and the sun is slowly setting I might run out of time to finish this but there's still tomorrow <sighs> come on bro The good thing is that it doesn't actually have to go all the way through in order to do the work off. Would I just have to eyeball this? I think that eyeballing is my best option right now. So let's see how good am I at it and this is almost all the way in I 
I think I didn't think this through very well. But now that I started it, I'm gonna finish. So I sort of found a workaround. I had this uh, point from a uh, screwdriver placed in here and I pressed this upper piece upon it and now I kind of have a point where I need to drill. So let's just have it checked one more time and see if I'm right or not. Godspeed now! I think the hole is deep enough, so let's give it a try. So finally I kinda did a good job here. Let me get closer a little bit. I have to bend the screw a little. So let's see. Alright, I think that with a little bit of sanding it's gonna be just right. Scratchy, scratchy. No, I don't know what grit is this, but I'd say it's 180 and this is well, like for uh, 240 or something looks okay now I forgot to wear the mask but guys always always wear protection when sanding wood because it's really nasty if you inhale these little particles of dust now I think I see this little guy here a larva or something I will have to bake this wood there might be some little worms still left inside now let's see if it still works Now I'm still eyeballing this. And it's not the best. I think I missed it by a hair or something. No. I'm gonna try and widen the hole to see if it helps it kind of helps Let's try and do the same with this one. Much better. And so, now I have to place the seven little holes for the dice. Now this is a 25 millimeter or a about a one inch drill bit that I'm gonna use for the holes and let's just see where it takes us it's really getting dark now I hope to finish this very soon let's just take care of the exposition a little bit
two, three, I hope, actually. And then I come to think of it, there is room for one more right here. One, two, three. I don't know. Let's just try and see. Once again, <laughs> I did not think this through all that well. <laughs> now someone's messing a pipe plan over there. Somebody's cutting wood. Anyways, this did not turn out quite as I wanted it. It still needs some sanding, some varnish. I'm gonna put some uh, two coats of uh, water resistant and uh, fire resistant varnish. Well, oh. <laughs> Considering that I didn't plan this, it was, it's okay. But uh, I think that next time I'm gonna prepare myself better and uh, try and do a better job with this. Now I'm gonna <laughs> leave this for myself, obviously. <laughs> because it's useless. No, it's not useless, it's useful. But uh, not as much as uh, a properly planned and executed one would be. Anyways guys, uh, tell me in the comments below what do you think about this. And uh, thanks for watching. I would appreciate the thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new to this channel. And see you next time.